So can we start? Yes, please. Uh, Meena, Jayesh, sir, am I okay to go? Yes, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Namaskar. Good morning to everybody. Suprabhatam in India. And I know a lot of uh, people have joined from across the world. So different time zones. Uh, namaskar to everyone. Uh, without uh, wasting much time, let's start. Uh, what we will do is that, uh, Jay sir, if you are already there, if you can put on the screen, we'll start by continuing where we left last time. We are reading the Sanskrit and then explaining that in the English. So currently we have started the class by reading the contents, Prathama Madhikaranam. So uh, Jay sir, if you are there, if you can just put it on the screen. And I request all of you, those who have the books physically with you, uh, keep it with you. That will be very helpful. So that really helps, you know, to make sure that everybody is focused. As they say, you know, we are all on the same page. Uh, so, Meena, uh, Jay sir is there by any chance? Um, Jay Jayu bhai, I think he's traveling. Okay. Okay. So, by any chance, can we project it or any suggestions? Sir, let me see. Yeah. If not, also it's fine. I have the book with me. But in case you can project it, that's good. Otherwise, let me know. Yes, sir, I'm trying. I request all of you to take book number one of Artha Shastra. Uh, we read the Sanskrit and then we look at the, uh, you know, the English one also. Uh, as we start, you know, please don't worry if you don't know Sanskrit. And here, it's a very different Sanskrit. Most of us would have got introduced to Sanskrit either the grammatical way in our school or in a popular Sanskrit, we would have got into texts like Bhagavad Gita, etc. But uh, that's not a concern because the language here is very technical and it's very different. So even if you're not able to understand, it's fine. A few Sanskrit words uh, would be helpful, of course. But remember, we are not looking at Artha Shastra from a linguistic standpoint. We are not looking at that. I remember, you know, when I learned it under a great grammarian, you know, as I told last time, Dr. Gangadharan Nayar, it was, you know, he was like a perfect, every dot and every, you know, dirga was so important. But then I looked at it and said that for me, it is not linguistic. It is not, uh, you know, just about uh, understanding the language. Of course, we have good translations we are using of RP Kangliji. But uh, I realized one thing that even if uh, you don't know the language, if you know the essence of it, so we'll try to look at it on the philosophical standpoint. And fortunately, we have the good, uh, you know, language uh, uh, in Sanskrit being translated by Kangliji and many others. So, in case you are missing out on some technical aspects of the Sanskrit language, don't worry about it. Yet, you know, if we can get into the basic Sanskrit, then it will be good because that's exactly what I did. I had no education in Sanskrit in the school days. But after studying Artha Shastra, I got interested. Like many of you have expressed the desire and some of you already started taking the Sanskrit courses also. Uh, and then, of course, I did my MA in Sanskrit, but I realized that, you know, Language is not the you know key thing that we are focusing on. We'll look at the philosophy and the leadership part of it. So, Meena, if it is not uh, uh, happening, that's fine. I'll start. Yes, sir, but I'm still trying. Uh, with Excuse me, excuse me, sir. That the English version of part two one PDF, uh, if you can, if it is available, you can just uh, uh, send across in the group if it is possible. No, otherwise sure, we love. Sure, 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 sure. Meena, just make a note of it. Yeah. Yes, sir. Sure. I'm sharing right now. We have already yeah. shared on a group and a email, but still it's a part we... two. It is a part two. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We'll send you. If it is a part part one is Sanskrit and part two, as you know, is English. Yeah, yeah. part two and Sanskrit we have got it, and part two English also I got it. Only the part two one English is uh, uh, required because we are studying now part two one only. That is why I'm just saying. But actually, part one is Sanskrit, part two is English. Yeah. But the, in group, it is available part two English. That's correct. Uh -huh. So, uh, part two one English is required, no, sir? No. Yeah. Part one Sanskrit is required. 
and part two English is required. Acha, part two only is not required. Yeah. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, I'll start because then we can have extra time for QA. I'll start reading. All of you can refer to the books, or if not, as they say, you know, at least listen. Even listening to Sanskrit is so beautiful. So uh, as Nina, you're setting up the technical part of it. I'll start from the book. Yes, sir. Kautilyam Artha Shastram Vinayadi Karikam Prathama Madhikaranam. This is what we had actually, you know, started with. And we had taken a few paragraphs uh, in the last two classes. I'll still read it because they're very small. Prakarna uh, Madhikaranam Samuddeshah. We are going to look at all the chapters, books, and sections in this. So a chapter which includes all the topics in Artha Shastra. We start with Om Nama Shukra Brahaspati Bhyam. Prithivya Labhe Palanecha Yavat Artha Shastrani Purva Charya Prastapitani Prayashastram Sankrihitam Artha Shastram Kritam. Tasyayam Prakaranam Madhikaranam Samuddeshah. So starting with the contents of the book. And this is what we covered. I'll just read the Sanskrit quickly. Vidya Samuddeshah, Vridha Sanyogah, Indriya Jayah, Amatyot Patihi, Mantri Purohitot Patihi, Upadhabihi, Shaucha Shaucha Jnanam Amatyanam, Guda Purushot Patihi, Guda Purusha Pranidhi, Swavishaye, Kritya Kritya Paksha Rakshanam, Paravishaye, Kritya Kritya Paksha Pagraha, Mantradikara, Tuta Pranidhi, Raja Putra Rakshanam, Upper Rudra Vuttam, Upper Rudhi Vrittihi, Raja Pranidhi, Nishanta Pranidhi, Atma Rakshi Takam. Iti Vinaya Adi Kadikam Prathama Adi Karanam. So here we just read last time that all these are you know Sanskrit terminologies used, and we find that you know this is the details of the first chapter. First book of the Artha Shastra called Prathamam Adi Karanam Vinaya Adi Karikam. Now, as we go to the remaining you know contents, you'll see some words will be very familiar to you. Some words will be very familiar. But as you keep reading and reading, it will become more familiar. Even if it is not familiar, certain technical words, you know, you'll get used to it. For example, as we go ahead in the uh, chapters, we'll have something like, you know, Saptanga, we'll have Anvikshiki. So you don't have to buy heart all these things like we do in Bhagavad Gita and various other, you know, Upanishads. People have, you know, the, the kind of uh, practice of chanting. So here, this is not to be chanted. It is not like you have to buy heart in all those things, but you can understand it and keep some basic books for reference and words in your mind. So, like example, you know, when we say Prathama Madhikaranam, so it's easy to understand as you keep practicing. Uh, we'll be covering the 15 books. So, what I'll do is that uh, I'll just tell uh, what are the words, or I would say the, uh, the kind of a numbers in Sanskrit from 1 to 15, and then you can easily go through it. So, Ekam 1 to 15, Ekam Dvayetrini, Chatwari Pancha, Shatta, Sapta, Ashta, Nava, and Dasha. Then Eka Dasha, Dva Dasha, Trayo Dasha, Chatur Dasha, and Pancha Dasha. Now these are basic 15 uh, you know, let, I mean, numbers that we will be seeing throughout the, this particular book also. I mean 1 to 10 is everybody, most of the languages we use it. And then comes with Dasha, you keep adding Ekam Dvaya. So Eka Dasha, Dva Dasha, Trayo Dasha, etc. Uh, again, not a Sanskrit class, so we'll use only till 15 because the book contains 15 only. So Meena, can I continue reading? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. So uh, this is what we saw last time. I'll try and proceed in this particular uh, class, cover up the whole chapter here, and we'll try and explain that. So, we have just seen the contents of Prathamam Adhikaranam, the name of which is Vidya, uh, sorry, Vinayadi Karikam. So, Vinayadi Karikam is the name of the first book, which is called Prathamam Adhikaranam. So, Prathamam means first, Adhikaranam means chapter. I will continue reading. 
now oh, i will explain to you after we read this the exact numbers in each of the book that gets finally added up to what we call 6000 sutras this particular chapter just for information the first one contains 500 sutras and the remaining next one is the biggest chapter uh, oh, sorry biggest book let's read the contents of them janapada निवेशिद्रापिधानम दुर्ग विधान दुर्ग निवेश समुदय प्रस्थापन अष्टपटले क्रियाधिकार समुदय से युक्त गृहत प्रत्यान उपयुक्त परीक्षा शासनाधिकार कोश प्रवेश रत्न परीक्षा आकार कर्मंत प्रवर्तनम अक्षशालया सुवर्णाध्यक्ष निविशिख्या सवर्णिक प्रचार कोष्टागाराध्यक्ष पण्याध्यक्ष Kupyadhaksha. When I read all this, a word keeps coming again and again. Adhyaksha. Meena, if you can put on... Okay, let it be right now. Uh, I'm reading the Sanskrit and I'll explain that later on. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Nina. So, Adhyaksha means in charge or sometimes different uh, scholars use it differently. Superintendent here is being used. So these are different departmental heads. Okay. And then we have Panyadhaksha, Kupyadhaksha, Ayudhara Gara Dhiksha Tula Mana Pautashim Desha Kala Kala Manam Shulka Dhiksha Sutra 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 so, Yadaksha, uh, uh, Navadaksha, Godaksha, Ashwadaksha, Hasya, Pratha Daksha, Patya Daksha, Sina Pati Chara, Mudra Daksha, Vivita Daksha, Samaharta Prachara, Grihapati, Chau Deha, Pantapa, so, we are Jana Prati Prani Teha Naga Rika Prani Dihi. We just uh, saw all these different chapters. Itya Adhiksha Prachare Dvitya Madhikaranam. Iti. These are, you know, Adhiksha Prachar. That is the name of the chapter Adhiksha Prachara Dvitya Madhikaranam. The other one, second chapter. We'll just read this in English. Uh, it's already there. Okay, so Mina, if you can go to the English one. Uh, it's already there, yeah. Thank you. I'll just take my book too, which is already there. Now, from a management and administrative perspective, this is a very, very important chapter because it's defining, you know, the whole system that Chanaka created as an administrative model, which and I always say made India the richest country in the world. Okay. Uh, Meena, you have to go to number three. You can just scroll down. You can just write up. Yeah, perfect. Perfect, Meena. Yeah. So this is what this is. Enumeration of the sciences, association with elders, control over the census, appointment of ministers, appointment of counselors and chaplain, ascertainment of the integrity of, of the Absence of uh, of integrity of ministers by means of secret tests, appointment of persons in secret service, rules for secret servants, keeping a watch over their schedule over and non suitable parties in, in one's own territory, winning over the seducible and non seducible parties in the enemy's territory, the topic of council rules for envoy, guarding against princes, the conduct of a prince in disfavor behavior towards a prince in disfavor, rules for the king, regulations for the royal, Residents concerning for the protection of the king's own person. Yeah, these <laughs> constitute the first <laughs> book concerning the topic <laughs> of trade. So that's the <laughs> <a> book number. <laughs> one. 
पानांशी असे हे करून ते मुंग्यांचं हे बनतं ना चिंटू का बेडा श्रुती जी इफ यू कॅन जस्ट पुट इट ऑन म्युट प्लीज वी जस्ट सॉ यु नो चॅप्टर नंबर सॉरी बुक नंबर लास्ट टाइम नाव वी आर ऍक्च्युली लुकिंग एट द सेकंड बुक अधिकारणम विच आय रेड यु नो दिस बुक इज व्हेरी इंटरेस्टिंग बिकॉज इट टॉक्स अबाउट यु नो हाऊ चाणक्य क्रिएटेड द गव्हर्नन्स मॉडेल द ब्रिटिशर स्टार्टेड द सिटी मॉडेल ऍज द फर्स्ट पॉइंट ऑफ गव्हर्नन्स सो द कॅपिटल वुड बी कॉलकत्ता लेटर ऑन शिफ्टेड टू यु नो मुंबई अँड देन ऑफकोर्स बॉम्बे दॅट वी कॉल ड्युरिंग दोज डेज then finally it became you know delhi but here you find the governance model started starts from villages yeah so village is a center point so look at the first chapter that we will see later on settlement of the countryside so it is village formation that's important disposal of non agricultural land construction of forts layout of the fortified city the work of storekeeper by the director of stores the setting up of revenue by the administrator the topic of accounts in the records and audit office recovery of revenue misappropriated by state employees inspection of the works of officers because when you are putting up a governance model your bureaucracy is also getting set up over here the topic of edicts examination of precious articles to be received into the treasury the starting of mines and factories the superintendent of gold in the workshop the activity of the goldsmith in the market highway it's a very interesting insight you will get over here while setting up the cities sorry villages you are also setting up the gold economy you know indian economy is not just about printing notes actually you have gold in every village so you have gold being sold in the marketplace in highways we'll see as we go ahead think about the richness that has been documented here it was true that we were having this gold economy and you can see how it was structured over here then we have the superintendent of the gold in the workshop the activity of the goldsmith in the market highway it sold to the highways also like today if you go we have you know fruit sellers and there are so many you know what is the food mart food uh, place to have and all here it is gold in the highway so what we are producing and what we are selling the superintendent of the magazine the director of trade the director of forest produce the superintendent of the armory standardization of weights and measures measures of space and time the collector of customs and tolls the superintendent of yarns and textiles another important industry india was a textile capital of the world even today there are so many designs and weaves yesterday i was in delhi i saw this indian institute of fashion technology and it was so amazing that some of the best fashion technologies are still there but traditionally I remember you know the cotton was one of the very important producer of india we have a tradition of almost you know 5000 years of cotton and even the freedom movement was you know khadi and everything you remember <clears throat> so here we have the textile industries and a superintendent of that as we go into the chapter we'll see that also the director of agriculture the controller of uh, spiritus liquor very important uh, you know way of collection of revenue the uh, controller of uh, sorry the control of liquors the super the the supervisor of animal slaughter the superintendent of courtesans the controller of shipping the superintendent of, superintendent of cattle the superintendent of horses the superintendent of elephants the superintendent of chariots the superintendent of foot soldiers all these are government assets you know horses chariots elephants etc very important from the defense perspective and even today the government spends a lot of money on defense if uh, we had you know air force during those times that would also had an in charge over here but on, on during those days it was not the superintendent of uh, foot soldiers the activity of the commandant of the army the superintendent of passports the superintendent of pastoral lands the activity of the administrator secret agents in the disguise of householders because bureaucracy will have corruption but how to control them you have this spying system slowly coming in here uh, traders and assets rules for the city superintendent these constitute the second book the activity of the head of departments so you see the book number 2 only topics is being covered right now we'll go to the sanskrit one again and uh, keep it there meena perfectly and i will come i'll read the sanskrit one and come back to the english one
those of sanskrit can refer otherwise you can listen uh, and we go into another important uh, aspect of artha shastra which is law yes vyavahara sthapana that is the first uh, chapter in book number 3 viva vivada pada nivabandhah vivaha samyuktam daya vibhagah vastukam samaya sthana parkam rina danam aupanidhikam dasta karma karakalpa sambhuya samusthanam vikrita kritanu shayah datta sthana pa karma aswami vikrayah swaswami sambandah sahasam vakyarupyam dandaparuchyam duta samadhuyam prakirnikam iti dharmasthiyam tritiyam adhikaranam so these constitute what is called the next chapter named as dhar dharmasthiyam yeah mina we'll go and see in english okay so here we have number 5 we can see that's uh, the uh, sutras that we start counting determination of valid and invalid transactions book number 3 is concerning judges or law and order yesterday i was in delhi university we were doing a two day conference on the legal aspects of chanakya imagine the law department and you know for those people who are in the legal field also you may aware of it that you cannot just put a court case the judges word consider whether it's valid or not, not valid otherwise anybody can put a case and waste the time of the court no so determination first thing is that whether this appeal is valid or invalid that starts here no? even today this is used you can't just put a case you know judges decide okay it is valid let's proceed let's defend the case or you know fight the case transact uh, determination of valid and invalid transactions filing of lawsuits again the whole process has been defined and uh, concerning marriage now more important our generation the kind of you know uh, marriage issues that lands up in courts partition of inheritance very interesting because uh, you know in our country especially and land is like a big dispute why only in our country across the globe so inheritance you know property one child okay two child problem three child very very big problem cousins mahabharat so then concerning immovable properties non observance of conventions non payment of debt so you know he's not paid me what should i do i go to the court concerning deposits <coughs> law concerning slaves and laborers undertaking in partnerships restriction of sale and purchase non conveyance of gifts sale without ownership you know this is my property and i sell it and then you realize oh the title the papers are not clear you cannot sell others property and make money it happens what is called the land mafia right so what do you how do you deal with that sale without ownership the relation of ownership <clears throat> forcible seizure verbal injury physical injury gambling and betting misdemeanors what is verbal injury you know gali dena today we have defamation so you cannot do that all these are legally punishable offense but what are the rules how much to punish what is the punishments all this will happen in each of these chapters and other miscellaneous aspects of law and order these constitute the third book concerning judges again the sanskrit word is uh, uh, you know dharmasthi okay dharma and in india dharma has got a lot of meanings but in this particular place it is about law concerning judges the judicial system set up by chanakya those who are interested in legal aspect of it i told last time also this is a very important chapter the whole formation so to tell that india did not have a constitution this is not true the here is a reference that we had our own different governing model and all the law and order is put in place in this particular chapter now we go to the fourth one again i'll go back to sanskrit and read it karukara क्षण वैदेहक 
श्रणम उपनिपात प्रतिकार संस्कृत नो आई कैन डू दैट उपनिपात प्रतिकार गोड़ाजीवीनाजन प्रकाशन शूपर्माग्रह अशुमृतक परीक्षा व्याख्या कर्मागर सर्वोधिकरण रक्षण एकाधनी शुद्धा श्री दंड कल्प कन्या प्रकर्म अति चार दंड कंटकशोधन चतुर्थमीकरण वी शुड गेट फेमिल टू सम ऑफ दिस वर्ड्स इफ नॉट ऑल ऑफ दिस वर्ड्स द फोर्थ चैप्टर इज कॉल्ड एज कंटक शोधन एंड वाई इज इट इंपॉर्टेंट विल सी दैट सो लेट्स रीड दिस इंग्लिश वन द फोर्थ बुक keeping a watch over artisans who is artisans the people who do you know small work the artistry work keeping a watch over traders the people who you know sell goods from one place to another why keeping a watch you will see that because chanakya says you know the lot of small little little crimes keep happening in these places so you have to keep a watch remedial measures during calamities now oh, very important you know during bad times what happens you know during calamities So, you know, if there is a flood, you know, everybody is running away, and you will find small, small criminals like you know the rats. They will come and they'll pick up. So let's say my house is gone in the floods. I'll try and run away, try to save something. But you'll have these small little guys who will come and you know steal some remaining in your house. They will come and report. So these are small people, but there has to be remedial measures to you know, tackle such small thieves. But at the same time, flood has happened, and to save people, it's a part of government. I can't just leave them there. you know recently i think last year there was some big you know i would say forest fire in america i don't remember which state it was and the government's first job is to make sure they evacuated safely so what do you do in such calamities guarding against person with secret means of income you know this particular chapter is about criminals very important kanthaka shodhana because whatever you say the society will have criminals yet you can be a safe society remedial measures during calamities guarding against person with secret means of income yeah do number you know illegal how do you look at that detection of criminals to secret agents in the disguise of holy men ah oh, now this is something very indian you know right from ravana you know he comes in the disguise of a holy man and he does a crime it picks away sita ji so very very unique problem in india because we respect all the spiritual gurus but they come actually as a holy man but internally they are thieves so what do you do about such people uh, then we have uh, arrest on suspicion with the stolen article and the indications of the art in quest of sudden deaths oh is it a murder you have to investigate how do you investigate during those days so this complete chapter on that investigation through interrogation and through torture Uh, once you get into the jail, they know how to take out the information. So different levels of torture, you know, as they call first degree torture, second degree, third degree, all this is covered. Keeping a watch over officers of all departments. Yeah, so it's called vigilance. In fact, uh, in the Indian government, we have a vigilance day also, which is the I think the birthday of Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel. It comes around October November. You can check it out on Google. so there's a whole vigilance otherwise you know power can corrupt so the government machinery itself has got lot of criminals inside as we say in the police department criminals in uniform i'm not telling every policeman is a criminal but there are criminals in every government system so how does chanakya keep an eye on it very important part of governance redemption for the cutting of individual limbs the law of capital punishment yeah so capital you have to hang till death then uh, very simple and with torture violation of maidens punishment of transgressions so violation of maidens is like you know rape and conviction also how do you uh, look at that from the you know drug governance point of view these constitute the fourth book the suppression of criminals so chatur adhyay is been covered and again i'll go back to the you know the one in fifth 
So please understand uh, each of them is a chapter we'll deal in detail as we go ahead. Now we come to the fifth one, and that is Danda Karma Kam Kosha Bhi Sam Ranam Bhutya Bharana Niyam Anujivika Vrittam Samaya Charikam Raja Prati Sandhanam Ekeshwaryam Iti Yoga Vrittam Panchavam Adhikaranam. Panchavam Adhikaranam is named in Sanskrit as Yoga Vrittam. Now here we will see number 7 concerning the inflection of secret punishment. You know, I will say, look, look at the last line first. The fifth book, secret conduct. Yeah, fifth book is secret conduct. So the fifth book, what is covered is given above. Secret, it's as I told you, by the time you reach here, you'll get matured because Kautile Arthashasa deals with a lot of negative topics also. Wait over ready and then you say, okay, how do you deal with this person? How do you deal with that person? And what are they? Concerning the inflection of secret punishment, there are a lot of secret punishment that is given by China. Okay, we'll see that. Replenishment of the treasury concerning the salaries of state servants. Many people don't know. You know, in many certain departments, there are parallel budgets. Yeah, so there is some expenses given, especially in the spying system. You know, I met a person uh, last week who said, I'm very interested in the, the Vishakanya angle of Chanakya. Why Vishakanya? They know I like the spying system and I'm very interested in espionage, what happens in raw or, you know, all those, you know, which is generally not known by people. No problem. We will first start with the budget. These people also require budgets, as they say in the Hindi language. There are people who are called khabaris, you know, the informers. Now, these are also have to be paid, but they are not on the government payroll. So, how does it, man how does it, you know, get approved? What is the process? Very interesting dimension. All these are not taught. And especially not to be taught also, except for leaders. Remember Arthashar, the leadership book. So concerning the influence of secret punishment, sometimes, you know, as they say, encounter kar diya. <laughs> so why? But the encounter is also a process that has to go through a checks and balance. Otherwise, people start misusing the power of law. Then replenishment of the treasury concerning the salaries of state servants, conduct proper for a dependent. Now, you know, all these spies, they may die. But how do you take care? of their families, their dependent. And Kautilya over here is very, very, very humanistic. So he's a human. He's not like, you know, okay, you die, then you don't know what Otherwise, what happened during the many attacks, you know, that Pakistan did to India. You know, if you die over here, they, they, they disown the person. So it's not my problem because legally they have to protect themselves. No, Chanakya doesn't do that. What is for dependent? And concerning proper behavior for a courtier, Courtier is very interesting. Vishakanya comes here that, you know, we have a lot of people who are courtesans, courtiers. They should know they're in power, but they also have to behave themselves. Continuance of the kingdom. Succession planning. Very important. Secretly, they do it. You know, in many business houses, when the chairman dies, they don't declare it. Why? Secret. Wait. Stock market gir jayega. The stock market will collapse. The share price will come down. Wait. So, it's all secret things that happens within a few people. So, uh, when somebody becomes a leader, there is something called as the oath of secrecy. What to tell and what not to tell. You cannot be emotional over here. You have to be rational. And Chanakya will also tell that continuous of the kingdom, continuous sovereignty. These constitute the fifth book, the secret conduct. So, one, two, three, four, five, Eka, Dvai, Trini, Chatwari, Pancha, we have done, you know. Now we go to the sixth one. One very, very important, you know, aspect of Chanakya starts from the book number six. Till now, it was keeping all the systems ready. What is that? Again, I'll read in Sanskrit and then we can read that. Prakriti Sampadaha Samatraya Midhyam Iti Mandala Yonihi Shashtama Madhikarnam. My favorite because this particular, you know, uh, I would say book, I have developed a complete model called a Saptanga. So what are the book number six considered? The circle of kings on, as the basis. Excellence of constituent elements. If you remember, many of you must have attended. Swami, Amartya, Janapada, Durga, Kosha, Danda, Mitra. Saptanga. Here they call it Sapta Prakriti. I also written a book on it called Chanakya, Seven Secrets of Leadership based on that. The Saptanga model is very popular. Of course, we'll cover here. But those people who attended some of my programs or wish to attend specifically on Saptanga, We'll cover up some other time. 
So it is important to know the excellence of constituent elements. Sapta prakriti hi. Concerning peace and activity. Now here onwards it gets ready for what is called as foreign policy. Yeah. So we'll suddenly see the Chanakya is getting ready for international power. What is called international relationships, foreign policy. What are your basis? Are you ready with the Sapta prakriti? You'll see it's like a game of chess. Your uh, team members have to be ready. Your infrastructure has to be ready. And now let's go for the big game. G20. First get up everything. Get all the leaders here. Then you have negotiations. In fact, yesterday I read, I think our Prime Minister got an award. I think the highest citizen award, even Bhutan. So the Bhutan King gave him some award yesterday. So he was uh, posting on Twitter, what we call X today. I will, I'm thankful to the Bhutan King for getting me this honor, you know, equivalent to what is called a Bharat Ratna, etc. So, but this doesn't happen overnight. There's a lot of hard work being done by the, uh, you know, the leaders, the infrastructure is set up. What we call relationship infrastructure. We talk about physical infrastructure like uh, bridges, roads, ports, railways. But what about international relationship infrastructure? Yeah, this is all covered over here. So the starting point is book number six. Anybody interested in foreign policy? This is where the real study of Chanakya starts. Later on, you'll see we have Mandala Yunihi, you know, enemy's enemy is a friend and all those strategies will come from here. Okay. Again, six is very small, but very important. A deep chapter because you only got a couple of chapters in it, but it's very deep. So I say, you know, here onwards, a different game starts of Chanakya. Then we go to the Shad Gunyam Saptama Madhikaranam. So next one is uh, book number seven is Shad Gunyam. What does it cover? Shad Gunyam Samuddesha Shaya Sthana Vritti Vishram Samshaya Vritti Samahina Jayalam Gunam Vishaha Hina Samthaya Vigraha Sanam Sandhaya Sanam, Vigraya Yanam, Sandhaya Yanam, Sainthuya Prayanam, Yava Yatavya Mitra Paro Pavigraha Nanta Chaya Doba Vita Graheta Vaha Prakatinam Sama Vaika Vipari Marshaha Sahita Prayanikam Pariprani Ta pari pranita pa prutaha sanjayaha dvaiti bhavika dvaiti bhavika santi vikramaha yata vya vrittaha anu graha mitra vimshi paha mitra hira gay unya mu vishtayu sanjayaha sandihi pranika graha chinta Hina Shakti Ru Puranam Balavatta Vigraho Paro Dehe Tavaha Dando Panata Vitram Dando Panai Vitram Sandhi Karmaha Samadhi Mokshaha Madhyasa Charitam Udasina Charitam Mandala Charitam Iti Shadgunyam Saptama Madhikaranam. Now, in this particular chapter, you know, it's very important to know the words. That's why you're using Sanskrit. Mitra, you know, Sandhi. Now, these are words that are quite popular in India. Sandhi means, you know, having a treaty or, you know, having a compensation. Mitra. All these words have to be familiarized, even though you don't have to go into depth. That's why we at least read Sanskrit to get it familiarized. And uh, so... Uh, enumeration of the six measures of foreign policy. As I told you, the previous chapter will get up the elements in place, prakritis in place, and now we start playing the game. Enumeration of the six measures of foreign policy. What are the six foreign policy? As I told you, anybody who's interested in foreign policy, this is a chapter. Determination of the measures in decline. So suppose you are going down, your economic power is going down globally. What do you do? So everybody is playing a global game now. Stable condition and advancement. Then conduct when seeking shelter. Sandhi. I am small, you are big. The bigger guys attack me. What do I do? Um, that's solution. Don't worry. You, even if you are small, you can defend yourself from a bigger enemy also. So how to take shelter? In 
adherence to politics by the equal policies by equal. So equals. Remember, there are three things. I am small, you are big. Then I am big, you are small. So there are different policies. Both are equals. So here, how do you look at you know uh, when you are equal? The weaker and the stronger king. So your policy is towards equal, the weaker and the stronger king. Peace treaties by the weaker king. Staying quiet after making war. So you know you attack and you are staying quiet. Are you doing some activity and you are quiet? Next, staying quiet after making peace. Then marching after making war. You know, you suddenly start feeling that here the war aspects also start coming in. Because foreign policy, as you see, across the world is also about wars. War is also an economic model that we will see today. We say a lot of money is made in war, but it's also a foreign policy. Marching after making war, marching after making peace, marching together with other kings, considerations regarding an attack on a vulnerable king and the neutral enemy, causes leading to decline, greed and dissatisfaction among subjects. Uh, very interesting. So you actually plant some negative ideas in the enemy kingdom among the public and people are dissatisfied. Reflection on confederate allies concerning the march of two kings who have entered into a treaty of alliance. So they decided world wars is all about alliance. Mahabharata war is about alliance. So how it is tackled over here. Treaties with the stipulations without stipulation and with the deserters, the people he deserted me, you know, he made a, a sandhi saying that okay, I'll always support you. But when time comes, he's desert me. How do you deal with that? Peace and war connected with dual policy. Very interesting. When you get into that, you know, your mind starts thinking, oh, bhi hota hai. dual policy. Then conduct proper for the king about to be attacked. You know, I don't have a choice. Now, he's attacking me. I'm small. How do you conduct yourself? Remember, your kingdom is under attack, but you should also know how to conduct yourself, even in loss. That's a very famous story when uh, Alexander attacked Porus and he was defeated. One question was simply, asked, how should I treat you? Simple, the way a king treats a king. Alexander got totally confused. A uh, person who has lost the game should actually be crying. No, he's still having that, you know, contact of being royal. So, all these war rules and foreign policies are detailed, explained. And we'll see that, you know, how uh, a conduct proper for a king about to be attacked before they are attacked and, you know, the different kinds of allies fit to be helped. Sometimes you are powerful, you have to help your allies also. Otherwise, I just say in Marathi, Kama Purta Mama. You know, when I am having some benefit, I will support him. Otherwise, no support. Not not done by Chanakya. And here we have this very famous saying, you know, in Ramayana also, Ragukula Rita Sada Chali Ai Prana Jaya Par Vachan Na Jaya. My word is enough. You know, so if you have given a word to your friend, and Ramayana just comes as Sugriv, who had promised to support, you know, Rama, but he forgets. Then he had to be reminded, listen, come on. You have to help your friend. Uh, Wali is dead. So, come on, let's go. So, you have to be reminded. Otherwise, you know, once you get the power, you are relaxing, not accepted. So, the different kinds of allies fit to be helped. Facts for securing an ally. Uh, money, land and undertaking. Considerations regarding the king attacking in the rear. You know, you say attack. Karte hai. You tell everything nice and suddenly. You know, your own people, your own allies can attack you from behind. So, in attacking in the rear, uh, recoupment of powers that have become weak. Reasons for enhancing oneself in the fort after making war with a powerful king. Conduct proper for the king surrendering with the troops. Conduct proper for the king subjugating other kings by force. The means of peace, liberation of the hostage. Again, another important point. You know, Samadana Danda Bheda, Samadana Bheda Danda, all of them have been explained here in different permutation and combination. And of course, liberation of hostage. You know, kept your people hostage. The whole war that's happening right now in Israel versus Palestine is all about how hostage release. So, what is Chanakya saying? There's a view to that also. I read a paper also on that, you know. I mean, how are the hostages treating? And I think recently they sent a few bodies and they okay. We have only killed a few. Only? They're taken away, let's say, 100 people and releasing, you know, 10 and say, okay, only 10 are dead. Oh, that's not done. So how do you, there's a lot of negotiation happens. 
you know, you must have heard about so many incidents where a full aircraft has been hijacked and they negotiate. Okay, you have to send this terrorist or I do this and do that. So how do you duplicate negotiations? So, you know, for all military experts and students of military science, very interesting because it's not just about your power or his power. It's also about international treaties that you sign between two countries. So when you look at movies like Airlift and a lot of other things, you know, people are stuck in other foreign countries, in a war torn country, but you have to save your citizens. That is the work of the foreign minister. So all this comes here. The the making war with a powerful king conduct for the surrendering with his troops, conduct proper for the king, subjugating other kings by force. The making of peace, liberation of the hostage, yeah, that's what we're talking about. Conduct towards the middle king. Who is the middle king? We'll see as we go ahead. Conduct towards neutral king. Then conduct towards the circle of kings. These constitute the seventh book, the sixth measures of foreign policy. Yeah. So, Saptap and Adhyaya. We have seen. So, very technical, but important to know. Now we go to the next one, which is. Uh, Uh, if we can just mute it, uh, that would be nice. So please mute. Thank you. Prakrita Vyasana Vargaha Raja Raja Yogyasana Chinta Purusha Vyasana Vargaha Pidana Vargaha Stana Vargaha Osha Sa Uda Vargaha Bada Vyasana Vargaha Nitra Vyasana Vargaha Iti Vyasana Di Karika Madhikaranam Bada Madhikaranam uh, uh, Yeah, we'll go ahead. The group of calamities of the constituent elements. Now, this is the topic concerning calamities. So, what are this? The group of calamities of the constituent elements Considerations regarding calamities of the king and the kingship. Calamities. Oh, there is a war going in other country. There is a war going in our country. The calamities. You know, there is water shortage. What do you do? The group of the vices of man. You know, one is the calamities, natural calamities. But there are human calamities also. Like, for example, if there is, you know, a war, internal war, civil war. That's human created. Not just, you know, natural wars. Uh, terrorism, or it could be even, you know, bombing of some place. All these calamities, how do you look at it? The group of the vices of men, the group of afflictions, the group of hindrances, the group of stoppages of payment to the regime. I will not pay money. I think uh, non-corporation movement, what do you, I will not pay to the regime. It's a calamity for the government. How do you pay? So at least how do you look at all the projects that are going on? The group of calamities of the army, the, the ration is cut. You know, I will not supply you. The budgets are cut. What do you do? No, 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 there's no war happening. So we'll cut all the budgets. You are only a white elephant. Now, what do you do? Uh, it's a calamity. You can't just say, you know, I will cut it. But uh, sometimes decisions happen and then you don't know how to tackle it. Chanaki knows how to tackle it. The group of calamities of the ally. Same thing happens. You know, I don't have any problem. But the neighboring, my friend, my ally has got calamities. There is some, you know, earthquake happened over there. There's some flood, some tsunami. It's a calamity. What do you do? You have to help him. But you know, you have to give from your treasury. Like during the, you know, Corona time, uh, everything was locked down. We were supplying, you know, medicines to other countries also. So that's also calamity. Then these constitute the eighth book concerning the topic of calamities. Again, it's been dealt in detail. Of course, most of them would be epidemics, not pandemic. Because very regional. But the first time in human history, we had a pandemic, a problem that got spread across the world. And fortunately, we tackled it well, and we are back to activity. But let's see how do you do this in foreign policies as these calamities. Go to the next one. Shakti desha kala bala bala jnanam yatra kalaha balo palana kalaha sannaha gruna Pratibala Karmaha Pashat Kopa Chinta Bhashyanta Raprakriti Kopa Pratikaraha Shaya Vya Yalabha Vipari Darshaha Bhya Nyunta Radha Padaha 
दोष्यशत्रु संयुक्त अर्थानर्थ अर्थ लमशयुक्त तारणाचुपाय विपजय लोकली you know the border states are a lot of people who understand you know if you go on the other side what's the plus minus so you recruit during war times also even during world war 1 and 2 you must have seen so many movies and images where you know do you have it in you that means you want to join the army in one way it's war times come on you know give yourself to the country so the employment uh, is very important during war times then occasions for the employment of the different kinds of troops merits consideration of revolts in the rear you have to be ready front attack how do you get ready for that counter measures against rising of constituents in the outer regions and in the interior you know sometimes it's outer people attacking you sometimes interior people your own ghar ka bhedi as they say you know consideration of losses expenses and gains war is not easy so we see war has happened but you have to consider How much expense? How much loss? Etc. Etc. Dangers from officers in the outer regions and the interior. Dangers connected with traitors and enemies. There could be a traitor in your own place or from the enemy side. Dangers associated with advantage, disadvantage, and uncertainty as to either overcoming these dangers by the use of the different means. These constitute the ninth book, the activity of the king about to march. and here onwards we will see the actual war starts now here your war has not started but the planning is happening how much expense who are the people manpower requirement how do you give training how do you give ration supply how if somebody attacks from behind all this planning is happening a whole book on that and as they say in the armed forces you know the more you sweat during peace times the less you bleed during war times there a lot of planning is going on so remember You look at international policies, your relationship, Samadhan, Abir, and everything is there. You have an ally, so all Saptanga is in place. But now you are getting ready for war. A time comes when you cannot avoid war. So here, but you don't just go and fight the war out of impulse. Oh, दिखा दूँगा. I'll show you. What do you think I have? You know, wait, wait, wait. What about the money aspect of it? Economy. Can you afford a war at this particular stage? Even if you want to go for a war, do you have the manpower? Do you have the uh, other required supplies? what about the doctors you know now pose is not just about the what you see in the movies you know there's a nice person who will go with a gun and say okay bharat mata ki jai let's attack okay the war cries but behind the scene what happens you know what about the doctors the nurses the whole system the ecosystem all this has to be planned the medicines are uh, very interesting you know military science is a very different ball game than what you watch it in you know entertainment shows So Chanak is making you ready. So remember the name, the activity of the king about to march. So it is not the activity started after the march. Otherwise, you know our movie scene starts with the drums. Tuck, 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 tuck. Chalo, yar, come on, Jai Sri Ram, and let's start. Har har Mahadev. But what about the back end preparation? And I always say, in today's generation, everybody is making movies on mobile. But there are three things: pre production, and then the production and post production. the pre production you know the setting up of all the studios the cameras the you know the backup for your recordings electricity all these so i do a lot of podcast and you know we have many of my students beat meena mansi kartika the whole setup i wonder you know and it's not easy because you have to do a one hour shooting there is three hours work before coordination and maybe three days work after the shooting for me it's just one hour go to the studio Like today, if you look at, I have to just speak for this one and a half hours, answer a few questions, and I'm done. I'll go back to action. But Meena, Jayesh, everybody is wondering, "Are you are technically what do you do? We are given free, but you know there are a lot of people who just come and try to disturb. What do you do about all these things? And 
they say radha sir come on come on start charging you know we'll filter out the people say wait i know there's a problem i interestingly you'll be surprised and besides all these things will happen but then i always say you know okay there'll be problems be ready for it you have thought about it again the intention matters and the preparation also matters so think about going for a war it's not just about few people it's a whole country and a nation like india today has got 140 crore people with so many dynamics not easy and after all these things still there be one element got missed out your own person could be actually an internal you know informer to the enemy all these things are taken to factor very very you know detailed way and you know each of them as you start thinking you know your perspective about life changes and you become realistic so that's ninth we got another six more chapters quickly we'll read it we go to the 10th one skanda char nivesha skanda vyapar prakaranam bala valya navastand kala kala rakshanam kut yuddha vikalpa now here is a very important word we'll cover up later on it's called kut yuddha and this is where chanakya gets the name kautilya and so people still use in foreign policy kut niti so that is been explained in this particular chapter kut yuddha vikalpa sva sainyo sahanam sva bala nya bala sha yoga yuddha bhumi yuddha bhumi you don't fight and attack civilians you know there's a yuddha bhumi you have to study the yuddha bhumi it's like cricket you know when you it's like going on uh, and uh, war in the cricket field the captains go and study the pitch okay how is the pitch you won the toss i'm going to bat now why right? the pitch is good the dew is stable so it's better to bat now or ball first whatever so the complete chapter on yuddha bhumi hai very interesting you know how many detail of thinking that's what make chanakya the chanakya that we respect then pragnashwa ratha hasta karmani ratha hasta karmani are your equipments your ratha etc in place ashwa that is your uh, horses etc paksha kakshora sthanam balagrato vyuha vibhaga vyuha vibhaga you know uh, chakra vyuha different you know formations of course lot of them are outdated but still fun to study the chakra views that are made you know capturing the enemy on your side if you're going to go abhiman your skill like that the chakra view the different vyuhas have been mentioned sara phala tushta bala vibhaga uh, patyashwara thara hasta yuddhani danda bhoga mandala mandala samhata vyuha vyuham nasya pratibhyagraha dhyapanam iti sangramikam dashamam adhikaranam so dashamam adhikaranam in sanskrit is called as sangramikam so let's see what is been told over here in english okay setting up of the camp okay now ready for war chalo abhi yuddh shuru hone wala hai setting up of the camp march from the camp guarding troops during the calamities of the army and the time of attack various types of covert fighting encouraging one's own troops disposition of one's own troops to counter act enemy's troops so enemy is attack first how do you do it so you have to counter attack ground suitable for fighting which is the right place to fight okay that's also determined functions of the infantry the cavalry the chariots and elephants arrangement of battle arise in wings flanks and front in accordance with the strength of troops distribution of strong and weak troops modes of fighting of the infantry the cavalry the chariots and elephants arrangement of the staff the snake the circle and the diffuse arise arranging counter arise against them these constitute the 10th book concerning war you know those are interesting in chess you will be surprised the game of chess comes from this particular book yes so chess c h e s s chariots horses elephants and soldiers it was in the olden days in india called as you know uh, now it's called chaturanj then it's called chaturanga chatur is four and anga four parts of an army of course today you know we have much more evolved than just you know 
chariots, horses. We have planes. We have a lot of other things. But uh, it's very important to know that the game of chess originated from India and, and Chanakya has been credited with the game of chess. This is where the whole strategy comes in. I had a friend who wrote a Gujarati book on the game of chess and Artha Shastra. And he finds his roots here. Okay, so again, as we go into detail later on, we'll see that ah, there is something like how do you form, how do you look at it? You know, sometimes the smallest man can become very powerful. As you know, the game of chess, once the soldier crosses on the other side, he can become a minister. And one very important uh, rule of game of chess, you can defeat the enemy. Okay, you can kill all the soldiers, horses, but you can't kill the king. That's the respect you give. That's why the last move in the game of the chess is called a checkmate. It is not killing the enemy. Oh, it's a No. It's a dharma yuddha. With Lord. You have to win. If you go for war, there is no compromise. Jitenge he. We have to win. But then, how do you win? What are the strategies? So, again, Chanakya trained you know, the kings to actually play the game of chess so that you get what we call in the modern day simulation exercise. You know, you can use a lot of technology, but it is very important before you are trained for all these things and now the war is happening. So this is book number 10. Five more, for very short chapters. Quickly read it. Medo padanani upamsho dandaha iti sangra vritta mekadasha mamadikarnam. One of the smallest, you know, one of the smallest part of Artha Shastra Okay. Ways of resorting to the policy of sowing decisions, forms of secret punishment. These constitute the 11th book, policy towards oligarchies. Who are oligarchies? Small people, but very powerful. Like uh, an example of an oligarchy in India would be, you know, the Parsis, small group, but very powerful. Then, of course, we have uh, the Jains now, the Jaina community. They hold a lot of business, you know, small group, micro minority, as they say. In the armed forces, of course, today if you look at the six, the Punjabi police, they are very small but very powerful. They are very strategic, but they are fighting so many wars. Globally, if you look at an oligarchy, it could be Jews. And oligarchies control the economy in big way. Big way. So because when war is happening, their support is required. How to deal with them? Because they are more powerful. In fact, it is said that the you know the wars across the world, be it the Russia, Ukraine problem, also anywhere, it is the oligarchies who control it. We think it is the leader because leaders have some understanding of the oligarchies. How do you deal with them? It's a very short chapter. If you look at the smallest part of Arthur Shastra's you know, book, only two chapters in this book. But what is your policy? How do you deal with them? Because they will take over. You know, countries are split by oligarchs. Yes, countries are split because they say, you know, okay, we are going to not support you. We will withdraw all the support. Gone. So Chanak has taken that in mind also. Okay, now we go to the next one. Dhuta Karmaha Mantra Yuddham Sena Mukhya Vadha Mandala Pritya Sahanam Shastra Girna Sampranithaya Vivadhya Sada Prasadhavaha Yogati Samthanam Dandati Sandhyanam Eka Vijaya Itya Baliyasam Dwadasha Madhikaranam Dwadasham Adhikaranam. We are now into the 12th book. The mission of the envoy fight with the weapon of diplomacy. See, remember, behind every war that we see, there are 99 wars that have been avoided. Now, one of my students, Dr. Chetan Gandhi, you know, we are again together, Pranav, myself, Chetan, we are in Delhi. And he was telling his son is getting prepared for UPSC exam, you know, Union Public Service, Civil Services. Which one would you like to go for? Of course, IFS, Indian Foreign Service. So, you know, you are actually representing a country in a foreign country. And what is your role? You are a diplomat. So, what is the diplomat supposed to do? Of course, the diplomat here is an action, but the preparation of a diplomat happens in book number two. As we go there, you will find out. It is a selection training process, but here it's time because war is happening and diplomacy matters. Because, you know, a diplomat is situated in a foreign country Representing our country is an ambassador. Assassination of the enemy's army chief. It has happened. Even today it happens. You know, because he's a very powerful guy. Senapati is assassinated. Steering up the circle of kings. 
again remember that uh, we just mentioned about circle of kings mandala yoni all these are to be used here now it's becoming strategically actionable not just strategy sitting and deciding what to do now it's action time with all the strategies secret use of weapons fire and poison destruction of the enemy supplies okay armies can't march on empty valley so you just cut off the supplies reinforcements and forging raids overreaching the enemy in trickery overreaching the enemy by force victory of the single king these constitute the 12th book concerning the weaker king please remember we are still reading the chapters and we have not even entered the chapters okay it's almost like a starter but your stomach is already full it's 8:35 i'll cover this and we'll go for q and a but look at the perspective he brings in it's not just war you know samadana bed that so much details so let's look at uh, the next one also 13th book उपजापह योगवा मनम अप सर्प प्रणीदिहि पर्युपासन कर्म अवमर्दह लब्ध प्रशानम इति दुर्ग दुर्गलंबोपाय सयो यो दशम दशमम अधिकरणम नाउ वी कम टू द 13th बुक व्हिच इज सेइंग द इंस्टिगेशन टू सिडिशन throwing out the enemy from means of stratagems you have to bring out the enemy like hitler you remember was hiding he is a king he is his own you know the leader of the opponent but he chose not to get you know taken away so he uh, shoots himself but finally now war is coming to an end you applied everything now you have to capture the king the, the employment of secret agents so where is he come on bring him out okay the work of laying siege to a fort now the time has come you won the war and now you are taking over the fort so naya raja aa gaya uh for all those people who are interested in this part of artha shastra i would suggest to watch this movie called as troy t r o y it's based on the very famous helen of troy and you will be surprised you know we have this very big the torjan horse so they send it inside and they attack and they capture a fort so there are some kootaniti also here uh, storming a fort yes you directly attack on all these war movies like bahubali and all those you, you know how do you attack get inside make sure all this so now for the last part you already got into it now you are taking over the fort now storming a fort pacification of the conquered territory very important this is where chanakya you cannot just go you know i have taken over you now kill everybody massacre everybody genocide rapes not allowed even if you are defeated an enemy there is a way of pacification of the conquered territory or oh, dharma yuddha dharma vijayam the word dharma vijayam is very very popular from the mahabharat there is ethics in war also so remember you won the game but you cannot just say okay now i will destroy everybody come on all your soldiers go and enjoy loot everyone not allowed these constitute the 13th book means of securing a fort so when a fort is secured you are taken or you have won it you are a vijayi but you are not a adharmic vijayi so there is rules over here also so you win the game but you also don't become adharmic so 13th book will consider that Now we go to the fourteenth book. Parabala dhata prayoga ha prala dhyam pra pra prala be na yanam swa balo pa dhata pratikara ha ityopani pa dikam chatu dasha madhikaranam the fourteenth uh, chatu dasha fourteenth book. What does it say? secret practices for the destruction of enemy troops okay deceiving the means of occult practices oh now here is a lot of people like ranveer also you know alabadia he got some prime minister's award for creator and he told me a lot of hot topics on youtubers right now is occult practices jadu tona yantra tantra mantra chanak uses that also but not for a selfish purpose okay because as somebody said you know we don't i'm not interested i'm afraid of all these things yeah don't get too interested with occult practices problem it is not just black magic it's also used as a strategy how many of us are aware that even today even today in army like the indian army they actually employ the pandits on the payroll they do a lot of mantra puja sanan even today 
so i have seen you know because i am so much involved with the defense also there are actually people on the payroll in the western country suppose they have the priest so what is their role it is not just you know chanting some mantras they also you know so many secret practices which are generally not told but yes deceiving the means by occult practices of occult practices counter measure against injuries of one's own troop now please understand uh, you know i may not get into occult practices but what is the you know the opponent is using it so i should know so these are all you know very different ball games and you know that's why by the time you come here you will become like oh wow all these are there yes they are all there and happens these constitute the 14 the book concerning secret practices it's just like ending you already won the war you are conquered the enemy but you are not a tyrant okay na bhi dikha dunga kuch nahi you are a person who understands governance is important even for a lost country good governance is required even for a lost country and we have got so many examples in india in our scriptures ramayan so rama goes you know defeats uh, ravan and he comes back with sita he could have been easily become the you know the ruler of lanka and it was remember sone ki lanka but he said no establish vibhishan as the leader and go back now ayodhya comparatively is very smaller in size in prosperity in economic gdp but he said no so chanakya looks at lot of dimensions as we go ahead we'll go into all this but we come to the 15th book and in the last one it is not directly important for you know uh, governance strategy but it's important technically what is it the 15th book as we say and it's one of my favorite because when i used phd and as far as you are academically interested this book book becomes very interesting for all the people one in the scholarly approach tantra yuktiya iti tantra yukti hi panchadasha madhikaranam what is it tantra yukti it is the method of writing this book a lot of people say what is the you know research methodology writing format you know when we read books fiction non fiction is it children's book so it is definitely a very very high level you know academic books or academic research is what is the you know formula used so here we have devices used in the treatment of the science which science artha shastra the political science this constitute the 15th book the method of the science he tells you know this all this technical words that i'm used and coming back all these if you look at is not maybe very interesting for all of us eh kya hai i we had one of the participants say you know don't read sanskrit i understand it's very boring for even for me and maybe somewhere i also made a mistake while pronouncing please forgive me for that because again as i told you that's not the main part but but knowing a little bit of your words like samadana bheda danda not samadana danda bheda all this matters when you're in the application so as somebody said you know uh, i was in uh, i think uh, england yeah london yeah oxford i remember yeah oxford so one of the professor friends asked me you know uh, do you remember all the mathematical formulas that you learned i said no 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 very boring you know if you look at all the children most of them hate maths hate unless there is you know rare categories which are naturally gifted and they love maths otherwise oh the most hated subject number one maths so this professor told me you know to be very frank you know all these formulas in real life application you may not use it directly so what is the use of learning all these things when i am not going to practicing it people have this example but it tells something very interesting it helps you to think differently so it is not application based it's fundamentally your thought process change so when you are struggling with sin theta cos theta so oh what is it but you know application may happen may not happen but these are all intellectual gyms so as we have a physical gym but what about your intellect what about your mind chanakya is trying to train you in all these things also that's why even for me i find sometimes very difficult to get into the technical part of it i don't enjoy it i remember when i was studying artha shastra my goodness 18 hours a day sitting with every single sanskrit word struggling and you know it was almost like and i would have gone bonkers fortunately i had a great teacher dr gangadhar nai told me don't study so much you know take a break then come back otherwise you know reading reading and especially if it's so technical like this but at the end of it you know what comes out is a very different persona okay with that we will uh, look at two more uh, you know things about this particular chapter and all this nakhra that you did you know reading out all these things what is the objective of all this chanak is not forgetting all that please remember we may forget in the flow let's see the last two ending sutras 
ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಸಮುದ್ದೇಶ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಉದ್ದೇಶ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಅಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಅರ್ಥ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸಾರಿ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಬುಕ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಡಿ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಯು ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಡೀಟೇಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಯುಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಉದ್ದೇಶ ಕ್ಯಾ ಹೈ ಇಸ್ ಕಾ ಕಮ್ ಆನ್ ಕಮ್ ಆನ್ ಕಮ್ ಆನ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಮಿ ಯಾರ್ ಸೋ ಬಾತ್ ಕಿ ಏಕ್ ಬಾತ್ ಎಸ್ ಅ ಸೇ ನೋ ಟೆಲ್ ಮಿ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಡೀಟೇಲ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ವಾರ್ ಎಸ್ಪೊನೇಟ್ಸ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಮಿ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಓವರ್ ಆಲ್ ಅಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಚಾಣಕ್ಯ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಸಮುದ್ದೇಶ ಪಂಚದಶ ವಿಕಾರಣಿ ಸಾಶೀತಿ ಪ್ರಕರಣ ಶತಂ ಸಪ್ತ ಶತಂ ಷಟ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಸಹಸ್ರಾಣಿ ಇತಿ ನಾವು ಹಿ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಡಿವೈಸಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ದ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಂಟ್ ದ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಬುಕ್ ನೌ ದ ಎನ್ಯೂಮರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೈನ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಈಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಅಸ್ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಬುಕ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ಎಮೋ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ಒನ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಕಾಮನ್ಲಿ ಸೂತ್ರಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಸೂತ್ರ ಭಾಷೆಯ ಫಾರ್ಮೆಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಗೋ ಬೈ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ವಾಟ್ ಹೂ ಹಸ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಅರ್ಥಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫೈಡ್ ಹೀ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫೈಡ್ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡನ್ ಓಕೆ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಬುಕ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಿಕಲಿ ಶ್ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ಸೊ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ಎನಿ ಬಡಿ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ನೋ ಕಿ ಅರ್ಥಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಕಹಾ ಹೈ ಯಾ ಹೈ ಕಿತ್ನಾ ಹೈ ಇತನಾ ಹೈ ಚಾಣಕ್ಯ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಡಿಫೈನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಅಪ್ ವಿತ್ a very interesting you know shloka that comes in towards the end a shloka because end of every chapter he gives a shloka sukha prahana vigneyam asvatha padamichitam kautilyam kritam shastram vimukta granthi vistaram yeah mina can you just go ahead a little bit okay they, yeah easy to learn and understand oh it's so boring no chanak is very easy to learn and understand only what you require is practice abhyasa very easy it's not complicated so after doing all this so so complicated no i can't simplify it further i mean i have tried my best imagine i could only write 6000 sutras only actually i could have written on this topic 1 lakh shlokas no no it's very easy to learn and understand precise and doctor no confusion so much clarity you know so much clarity every question is answered then send every sense and everything makes sense it's not some useless there are kuch to cut copy paste you know today especially chat gpt i go through a lot of phd theses you know i, I get a lot of you know phd theses by evaluation oh my goodness you exactly know the first time you read and you say okay i don't want to read further because everything has come from that source no it is not just lot of intellectual rigor has gone in and let me tell you friends using an intellect is not easy thinking is not easy and look at the thought process on so many dimensions so everything is make sense and the word is also very clear everything that he uses so no confusion free from proxy of text no no confusion absolutely clear free from any ambiguity thus has this work on the science been composed by kautilya i literally i feel like i have taken a marathon struggling with all these things and i would have avoided it but the reality is that it's important to go through the rigor and as we say you know no uh, what no pain no gain so look at the pain only of writing the topics 150 180 top sections we covered today again doesn't make sense in that you know one sense it doesn't make sense yet it makes a lot of sense i will quickly wind up by giving a summary of this and we will open up for questions you know this you can write down you know all these things i'll take you know summarize it uh make sure book number 1 we have 15 books book number 1 the major topic that chanakya covers is leadership okay so anybody wants to read so that's what i've been working on so the concept of a raj rishi selection training etc comes there book number 2 is about economic models and governance you know how do you set up the government system because no country can be prosperous without the head of departments revenue model that's book number 2 book number 3 4 and 5 is about law book number 1 leadership book number 2 economics and governance book number 3 4 and 5 is about law book number 6 7 8 is about foreign policy 6 7 8 book number 
so that is concerning war. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 is about war. Almost six chapters dedicated to war. And if you actually mix it up with foreign policy, it becomes nine chapters. Because war is foreign policy. But foreign policy is different. Quickly summarizing book number one, if you want to read specifically, it's all about leadership. And then book number two, governance and uh, of course economics. Book number three, four, five about law. Book number six, seven, eight about foreign policy. Book number nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 is about war. Remember, the 15th one is only methodology used. So here is a book that we just got introduced. And the next uh, classes, we'll be going into each of them in detail. So I would request all of you to kindly, you know, look at Mina. If you can just finally go into the topics in the beginning of this only English one, it will give us an, just go to the top. You know, all these are details from the Sanskrit literature into English translation, but the publisher has done more. Come down, come down. So before you come to the next class, if you can just at least go through this, you know, this is what is important. Just yeah, keep going up. Yeah. So this is easy for us. Same thing, but you know, given in a better table format. So this you can refer because if you go into this, you will get too confused. So this is what probably could be useful as we go for the class ahead. Yeah. So this is what the table of contents, what we saw this same thing in a very structured way concerning topic of training book number one. Prathama Madhikaranam, these are the chapters. Just go to the end of uh, book number one, see the chapter sections and the 21 chapters in book number one, 18 sections. Book number two continues. Each book has got a chapter and the section continues. The end of it, you have 180 sections. So just refer to it and we can have some discussions and questions. We got 10 minutes to go. Over to all of you. So I think uh, Malti, since you have raised your hand, I'd like to address your question first. Yes, Aryom, sir. Uh, sir, two instances. You mentioned the more you sweat during peacetime, the less you bleed during wartime, and you don't attack civilians. In Pakistan, if you see, sir, terrorism is in the forefront. Uh, for example, the girl Malala and her father. Malala was attacked in the... She was uh, shot in the head uh, when she was traveling in the bus. So... Uh, where the education is curtailed, especially for girls. Uh, so how would Chanakya act and strategize in such a situation? Second instance is in this Gaza-Palestinian war, the uh, water and electricity was cut off for many days. So first of all, like um, you don't attack civilians and you don't do all these things. How would Chanakya act and strategize in such two instances? Thank you, because now, now you get to start thinking like Chanakya. This is what is the beauty of Chanakya. Now you start looking at real-life examples. What would have Chanakya done? In fact, I was in Delhi. My goodness, Arvind Kejriwal got arrested. Some of you may be talking. Yeah. So they yes. asked him, what would Chanakya say? What would Chanakya say? Because they expect after studying Artha Shastra, you have a solution to all problems. That's, a, that's what going to happen with all of you. Huh? Don't think that's my problem, your problem. After this whole thing, you'll send me, but Are, what will happen? Now, coming back to Gaza and Pakistan, I will tell you, Pakistan, you know, we have tried Dharma Yuddha with them, isn't it true? If you look at 1971 war, you know how many prisoners of war were released? 90,000. No, okay, we, we have, you know, signed a Geneva Convention saying that we will not keep prisoners of war, and the treaty is signed and they will left 90,000. It's not a small number. Any country would have massacred them, isn't it true? After all the problems. But we believe that Dharma Yuddha. This is where what comes as ethics of war. And the problem right now is that, you know, I am following ethics, but you are not. What do you do with such a country? That's why people say now the only option available is Kutaniti. If Pakistan goes to war today, they will not survive for more than two, three days because of the economic model. And coming back, you know, Prime Minister has told this in many public speeches that, you know, I'm not considering Pakistan as a major problem now. Maybe the problem has shifted to China. But I'm saying, you know, I want to grow economically. So, you know, economic growth of India is maybe a solution for Pakistan military. And Pakistan itself has got a lot of internal problems. You know, look at the leadership crisis. Look at the people. In fact, there is no electricity there also. There's no problem. in you know, I'll tell you, uh, and since it's a global audience, the India-Pakistan problem may be having a global solution. I don't know. Like if you look at a lot of rich people in Pakistan, I like to say on record, 
lot of rich people in Pakistan don't have opportunity for growth in Pakistan. They migrate to Dubai. Yeah. They migrate to US. Please understand, they are not bad. They are also academicians, scholars. What do you do in a country like that? You know what is the Chanakya solution? Leave that country. Huh? It may look surprising. But say, you know, imagine you are working very hard, but you are in the wrong place at the wrong time. If you want to be successful in this life, leave. Now, coming back from an India-Pakistan standpoint, we have, we are, I don't know, I mean, it's our, we have such nice neighbors. We have to deal with the problem. Any instability in Pakistan is a problem for us also. Imagine if Pakistan, this one theory that goes, if Pakistan gets split, it's only a matter of time. You know, it gets split. But you know, it's not that easy. Oh, you may be happy, oh, Pakistan ko dikha diya. Okay? It's not like that. Imagine the kind of refugees that will come into your country. How are you going to take care of all these people? You know, they'll just barge in. You know, no border, no immigration, nothing. They'll just barge in and say, bye, bye. What, bye, bye? What do you do? So, yes, we, and again, this is something that the military is really worried about, and I work on that. Let me tell you, no easy solution, but if you dwell deep, there'll be a solution. Coming back to the second example of Gaza. You know, you're saying, you know, you're uh, attacking civilians. Please understand one very important thing. What is the demand? The demand is for the hostages to be released. I mean, we, among all the things that are happening wrong from this side, there is some one valid point. One valid point. Where are my hostages? You just pick them up, you take them away. And it's not a small number. And you just send a few of them and saying that, you know, okay, it's not like that. So they, what the, I think the real thing is not about who is right and wrong. It's not about civilians. It's also about what about the hostages. Release them and we are in peace. But that's not happening. Now coming back, you know, Russia and there could be another power game because what comes in the media may not be the only dimension. So summarizing it, you know, I don't want to comment on any of this because I have not studied it. But definitely, these are real problems that has been, you know, I would say suggested by Chanakya. Maybe we can go deeper. You saw the chapter on hostages also. So all these dimensions are there, but no easy solutions still be done in. But Chanak is very clear. Artha eva pradhanaha. Finally, at the end of it, everything deals around in economics. So Pakistan is still economically unstable, but are we economically growing? What about the economic model between Russia and Ukraine? You know, some economists can comment. What about India-Pakistan from an economic standpoint? What about... Ga so Israel is economically very strong. That's what they can afford. And today, a lot of people are inviting, you know, donations to support the Gaza people. Saying that, oh, people are dying. Khane ko nahi hai. So, a lot of dimensions, not an easy answer. Thank you for the question. Thank you, sir. Hey, Lakshmi Kanji. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, you know, I, I, I sometimes, I, I read your books also. So, uh, one topic was about Anvikshi. Anvikshi. Uh, you know, I did not find the thing anywhere. Uh, which chapter would it refer to? Which book would it refer to? Next book. Prathamam Adhikarnam. We'll find it in the next class. It is not the name of a chapter. It's called, but you know, it's considering and she will cover it up next. It's the first chapter. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Pavanji. Yeah. Hi, sir. So my question is uh, regarding, you know, in your books, you mentioned that uh, a leader should always try to expand and become a Vijig issue. So now you mentioned that uh, Pakistan and Sri Lanka, their economy is weak. So, should India try to you know, expand by uh, reclaiming them because they were part of India before? Oh, so there is this theory that is happening. It's called Akhanda Bharat. I'm sure some of you must have seen the maps also. It's actually put up in a parliament also. Akhanda Bharat is undivided India before the Britishers, which includes not just Pakistan, but also Afghanistan. It includes Nepal. It includes Sri Lanka, Bhutan, Burma. Now, is it a political construct? Are there people working towards it? The answer is yes. There are people, in fact, I know of a student from, you know, Pune University and his thesis came to me. You know, anywhere somebody is working indirectly, a Chanakya will come there. And his thesis was reconstruction of Akhanda Bharat. So there are scholars, there are academicians, there are political thinkers who believe that we should reclaim all these things. But let me tell you two things, my own personal view. The world has moved on. I mean, do you want to have that again? Yes, maybe from a political standpoint, it makes sense. You have a larger land base. But managing this, are you ready? Look at the kind of problems we are currently facing with managing so many states only. It's 9 o'clock. 
second part if it all it happens you know it should be on the dharma vijaya the vijig issue is not a tyrant the way we look at it a vijig issue is a dharma vijayi and therefore even if you want to be vijig issue it has to be from a legal dharmic way so coming back a vijig issue starts with anvikshiki which we'll cover up in the next class but akhanda bharat is a construct that may happen and people are working towards it but i would say the past should not be the benchmark it can be bigger also so we are looking at a geographical land can you look at a vijig issue from a standpoint of culture a standpoint of spirituality we may not own the land okay. but we have the vedanta or you would say the yoga culture everywhere that's also vijig issue like winning a world cup in cricket is also vijig issue right so coming back right. geographically akhanda bharat is a construct lot of people are working on but i think it has to be bigger than just a land based to a philosophical base okay what about Thank date you. on to uh, pakistan who will wear Pardon? that pad what about a date on pakistan are indian ready to uh, uh, bear that burden of date that's the point you know that's the point are we ready for that because we the economists have to think about it date on pakistan in fact the india pakistan split also started with that Remember the Gandhi ji era, five hundred crores. I don't know whatever in that generation. They do, no, no, not do because they'll use it against us. Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel had a counter view, but you are right. If you take over Pakistan today, there could be an economic, you know, problem that may come in. So we have to consider all this. You are absolutely right. So it's not an easy decision, but yes, it's a decision that will happen over a period of time. Yeah, C V G. Uh, good morning, Dr. Pillai. Chin my ear. Yeah. Uh, I uh, glad to be in your class again. So I just wanted to point out about this Akhand Bharat. If you look at the CEOs, some of the major firms right now, a lot of Indians are taking over on the IT, knowledge, development sector, and I think there is a classic uh, illustration where Akhand Bharat is taking place from a business and finance perspective. just to add to the point that we talked about how akhand bharat is uh, expanding so the world is becoming small and while the borders of individual countries might be different the concept and principles and applications of what we are doing like the world yoga day etc is definitely having a big impact including all these major industries and companies especially on the us and uk etc uh yeah you're absolutely right you know the world is actually flat correct you know so there are industries in which we are leaders for example it as you rightly pointed out so what the point is that you know this geographical land and going and conquering somebody else is actually old concept and today interconnected world let me tell you the concept of citizenship is also old if you are an indian you can be a better indian outside india also Mm-hmm. Does your passport define your nationality? Yes, from a standpoint of tax, from the standpoint of voting, it matters. But I'll tell you, yesterday again in Delhi University was there. There's a professor called Balbir, uh, Balbir Ji. Okay, so Balbir Ji actually has been in USA for the last, I think, almost thirty years. Now think about it, Professor Balbir Sahai. That's his name. He's an expert on Arthur Shastra. He did his PhD under Dr. Manmohan Singh. He's an economist. Oh. and he is an expert on arthashastra you can google him uh, dr balbir ji and he is actually professor of economics in in mit mm-hmm. not a small university i mean he is well regarded in harvard now the point is that even though being in us for 30 years he still has an indian passport mm-hmm. he says you know no no i am an indian I'll, and when he comes to india is absolutely in dhoti now the point is that is he american 100% is an american 30 years in america is not small and the country respected him that's why he is given such yeah. high positions of intellectual level imagine he was he was invited back to india as part of the planning commission manmohan singh i mean think about the prime minister ke under jisne phd kiya hai so manmohan singh was also an economist yeah. but he has a choice that i can be an indian in us also right and mm-hmm. being in us i don't know what he comes here every year for his voting also every 5 years Coming back to the point, you know, I think we need to train the next generation that wherever you are, you know, the concept of a nation could be redefined for our generation. I think time is up, sir. Thank you for the question. Very much debatable and of not debatable, discussable. We should exactly. discuss topics so that next generation gets. You know, there are a lot of messages on the chat box. 
but i like to end in time also but just to tell you, you know many people are asking about whatsapp group i will leave that to the admin team because if i get into that but, but yes you know there's one thing which i like to tell you know when i going to start the class it's still an introduction the classes have started introduction is also part of the class otherwise you'll say abhi tak topic 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 anyway now from next class onwards we'll get into anvikshiki and other details so it looks like but that's the format imagine by hearting the chapter no memory loss you don't have to refer this was the shastriya parampara so we're going to start very soon i mean started already last two three classes we've been doing that but now it will gather momentum so don't worry about it so if they may look slow but you are sure we are on the right track so sir i believe in artha shastra from the time when they were kings so all these questions are there but time limited and meena over to you thank you so much sir it was really a wonderful session so uh, nothing as such from the administrative point of uh, view but uh, i again will request there are still i'm receiving emails that the email id is wrong or the inbox is full so please uh, make sure that it is uh, okay so you will receive our messages and every friday uh, by evening we send you uh, the uh, saturday link so uh, please check on your emails and also those who want to join whatsapp group so please message me on the number which i have shared in uh, a chat box so you i'll send you personally the link of whatsapp group thank you that's was uh, from my end sir thank you so if you get time during the week please look at the chapters once again and we'll start covering up that in the next coming classes sorry could not answer all the questions because of time limitation but we'll start exactly at 7:30 am next saturday धन्यवाद शीघ्र पुनर्मिला शुभ दिन गुड डे थैंक यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर लवली डे थैंक यू सर थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक्स लॉट फॉर एवरीथिंग योर नॉलेज थैंक्स लॉट